Hey friends and welcome back! Yeah, welcome back to Starry Hilda's Off-Grid Homestead and my kitchen. Back from the conference, it is Sunday and we're going to talk about real men eating real dessert because that's what Starry's doing today. Uh, since I got back, beautiful day today, was outside all day doing the Back to Eden Garden and, and just a lot of other stuff. Uh, but tonight I'm back in the kitchen and Look at what I've made. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Mr. Hilder. I don't think he knows what I've made yet, uh, but I wanted to upload this video real quick because, you know, this is the thing about our homestead. We like to keep it real. What you see is what you get. And, and I'm sure when you saw me at the conference, yeah, it was what you see is what you get. I'm really no frills at all. Uh, but on our homestead, you know, we grow so much of our own food and we hunt and we forage and we're very health conscious. We're very fit. But, you know, even as a nurse, I always tell my patients, don't set yourself up for failure. It's okay to have a treat. It's okay to put a little white sugar in your mouth. Ask Mr. Hilder because real men do eat dessert. So, ooh, Mr. Hilder. Mm, <laughs> this <didn't>, wow. <laughs> this is going to be a treat. This didn't take long for Mr. Hilder to find. But let's talk about real men eating dessert like this. Because, you know, we don't eat like this every day. But what do you think you could tell people at home about your diet and how we stay healthy and balance everything? Well, the main thing is I rarely eat this stuff. But, yeah, I'm, like I said before in the past, I'm human. But I'm not going to eat the whole thing at one time. I used to do that kind of stuff when I was younger, but as you get older, you can't get away with that. That's true. So, and you know, obviously I do tons of exercising and so forth, but I don't use that as an excuse just to eat Jump. this kind of stuff. Yeah. This is, um, this is 100% a, a, a treat. And so, yeah, you got to have a treat once in a while. For the, the, the main thing that I do in a diet, and you, you have to do this, I stay away from processed food. That is the number one main thing in my diet. Even as a man? Yes. I, as I've gotten older, <laughs> when I was younger, yeah, you know, I didn't know. But as you get older and I became more aware of this stuff, I thought, well, let's exercise more. Well, I'm running, doing all this exercise and I'm still not like, not losing weight because I was eating processed foods. White sugar and processed foods, and then throw in the, the third factor, the, uh, the breads. Yes. Stay away from those three things, but the processed foods more than the others right. above and all. And real quickly, friends, because, you know, we're all about being real here on the homestead. When Mr. Hilder talks about not eating processed foods and having a very well-balanced diet, I'm going, to tell you, I'm going to tell you a little secret. If you don't have abs like this, show them, Mr. Hilder. <laughs> Come on, show them your abs, Mr. We have Hilder. To do this? We have to do this. Show them the abs. I'm not 20 anymore, though. He's not 20, but look at those abs. He's well over the age of 50, well over the age of 50, and so right there, my friends, the proof is in the abs. <laughs> the proof is in the abs, and you know, we all know everybody has different body sizes and different body types, and we, you know, one shoe doesn't fit all, uh, but if you are eating organic and, and healthy and non-GMO, uh, you know, your weight will, your body will hit a certain set point. And this is Starry the nurse talking. That set point for your body may look different from somebody else's set point. You know, me and Mr. Hilder, we have different body types. We're very athletic looking. We've got different genes. So the next person may be a little bulkier, but still healthy. And that's the important thing, being healthy at your set point weight. And again, Starry the nurse talking. Be careful where you get your information from, even on YouTube. You know, you go to channel to channel to channel and find the ones that are really offering good, solid, practical eating advice. And, you know, they, they look healthy. They look healthy. That's really important. If they're not looking healthy and, and they say they're eating herbs and salads <laughs> and non-GMO foods and unprocessed foods, and, and, you know, you can tell, right? You can tell. Uh, you know, just be very careful because we want you to be healthy and we want to keep it real that's so important and it is okay yes real men do eat dessert and look at this um 
<laughs> I, I haven't st- had this. I started. Well, hang on. I started off with how many, how many strawberries were there when Starry started the video, and now suddenly. But those are those are pretty healthy because yeah, that was they're, like a, what, they're, they're, what yeah, they call the dish before the meal. Yeah, the dish before the meal. The entree. Yeah, it's an entree. That was my so, entree for tonight. So this is okay because you know it's not that bad. It's got strawberries. Strawberry. And now he's going to do a little the taste. Here. He's going to yeah, that's the poison. And I used to live on this stuff before. When I met Star, she made this. I was like, oh, <laughs> this is the best dessert I've ever had in my life. I just eat panfuls of it. <laughs> he would. And so now I, I even asked I even asked her this because yeah, I don't get me wrong, I still like the stuff. But I said, can't you make the smaller portions so there's half? Because I can't eat this whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have a couple pieces. Not tonight, but right. I'll have a couple pieces. Well, then it's going to sit here. Yeah. And I'm going to be tempted the whole time. Yeah. And that's, that's the thing. We talked about um, temptation. And when you have, uh, it, it, you know, when you go on a healthy diet and you detoxify yourself and you start eating like how me and Mr. Hilder eat, just so natural, uh, your body stops craving all that stuff. And when you are sitting, say, all of these desserts on your countertop, you don't crave them like you used to. Once you get off the sugar and get off the processed stuff, those cravings do subside. And I'm really talking from my nursing background and from experience. Because me and Mr. Hilder, we did eat a little more processed foods when we were first married. Now we are, we really are, basically 99% organic. We're, we, 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 we really enjoy what we eat because we grow what we eat and but that doesn't mean we can't put some processed you know sugar as a treat and it's not going to kill us it better be a but, treat not a meal yeah it, okay friends mr hiller's getting the sugar rush so i gotta stop the video <laughs> by the time i get done with this video he may have most of it eaten <laughs> he's, he's he's not used to the sugar but just a starry moment off the grid in our off-grid kitchen, keeping it real. And look, I'm not chewing gum. It's pretty good. <laughs> no gum tonight. <laughs> you know what? What you see is what you get, friends. Sometimes I do goofy stuff. And walking around with gum in my mouth, yeah, it happens. I'd have been irritated too. Well, I was irritated at the video, but, you know, it's, it's, not, it, it's not like a... a it's, it's not about the bubble gum. Actually, tonight, it's about the abs and having more, having more fudge, apparently. Last piece, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, last piece. No restraint. Well, he has restraint, but that's the this, hard part, friends. And you're going to give this to somebody else. Yeah, see, that's the hard part. But you can do it. All right, friends. God bless, and I'm so glad to be back in the homestead. Keeping it real. And keep coming back because we got a lot of great videos coming up. It's spring and I'm planting and a lot of stuff is going on. So keep coming back. Bye.